As students continue to get reacquainted with the classroom this time of year, we're looking at another year where the impact of technology looms large. Use of artificial intelligence has been growing, and the question of how or if it should be used in the classroom remains. Joining us now to speak about the implications of AI use in school is Audrey Kindred, Director of Family Programs at the New York Society for Ethical Culture. Audrey, thank you so much for being with us. You know, this is such a challenging topic. I I think for schools, first of all, all school systems are, are, are not the same. Schools themselves have different kind of standards even within uh, different classrooms. So how do you recommend that parents discuss AI with their, with their kids? I think that the most important thing is dialogue, actually. We're all learning together here all generations and the thing that happens with new um, technological shifts often is a generational divide gets wider and wider. How we um, create that balance is through dialogue and mutual curiosity. How's it going for you today with AI? How's it going for me? What is AI? Let's talk about it. What are you experiencing as you interface with it? Do you um, you know, how is it going socially, emotionally? We are human beings, and who we need to keep track of in this is each other and ourselves. So as for in the classroom, in the old days, it, it was fairly easy, sometimes challenging for teachers to know when they're reading a student's work or they're not. Nowadays, if you, you can use AI to write a thank you note for you. You can give them the baseline of what you want them to do or it to do, and it does it. So I'm guessing it's a huge challenge for students to ignore the possibility that someone else can do the work for them and for teachers to know that they're looking at someone else's work when they're looking at it. So how much of a part of the conversation is that challenge? I think it is about mutual learning and respecting that. So when we're really cheating, we're cheating ourselves out of our learning, right? And helping children understand that you don't want to cheat because you want to learn. And your learning is more important than how good a machine, how good a job a machine can do for you, right? So then maybe some of the learning is about how we use this AI as an exploration. Maybe that's an assignment so that we're not making a rule that says you can't do it or you can do it. But this is the project today. We are exploring this learning about it. Now we are exploring what you think and what you are. And so just to be clear about our boundaries with that, I think is an exciting prospect for teachers, for learners of every age, teachers and students, so right? That, yeah, that was going to be my question then. I mean, what do you think schools need to do when it comes to thinking about how to use AI in the classroom? Well, I think we need to build the esteem of children to know that it's their learning that we're most interested in. It's not their product, it's their process. Mm -hmm. It's their That's ethical huge. development mm -hmm. that we're most invested in. We're not most invested in their A+. We're most invested in their authenticity. And then when we communicate that to them, I don't think that children want to cheat themselves out of their own authenticity and learning. I think they're just trying to live up to mandates, you know, that are stressing them. And that might drive them to think AI could do it better mm. than them. Does AI make it more challenging to be present if you're a kid in 2024? Well, when you ask children to leave a computer for dinner time, you can see how hard it is for them to socially, emotionally transition from the machine's attention to the human's attention. It's very hard. We've seen this for many years, even before AI. The question of how we interface with machines is a human question of social emotional wellness and ethical development and behavior and respect toward our fellow humans and our society, you know, hopes. Yeah. Well, uh, so. such interesting stuff, Audrey. We really appreciate the time. Yeah. Thank you Thank for coming you. in this morning and talking about this. Uh, we'll be right back.